Random Land, hosted by Justin Scard on YouTube, delves into eccentric locales, theme parks, and American oddities with wit and wisdom. Scard, once a punk rock frontman turned inadvertent YouTuber, divulges the unexpected genesis of his YouTube channel and his escapades, illustrating how self-reliance can redefine existence. A devotee since 2017, I've watched Scard's odyssey from Disneyland to the Clown Motel and everywhere in between, immersing in his narratives via YouTube, podcasts, music, and memorabilia. His debut book, Tales from Randomland, exceeded any of my expectations, imparting mirthful and enlightening wisdom that struck a chord, and I'd like to share it with you. So without further ado, I present to you Lessons from Randomland. Lesson 1. You can't please everyone, so you have to please yourself. In the opening of the book, Scarred bears his soul recounting the harrowing descent into the abyss of depression, anxiety, and the insatiable hunger for validation. Lost amidst the clamor of external expectations, he drifts further from the shores of authenticity. Yet, in the crucible of vulnerability, Scar discovers a flicker of enlightenment, a clarion call to arms against the shadows that engulf him. Thus begins his odyssey, a hero's journey to reclaim the essence of his being from the clutches of societal pressure. With each small step forward, Scard seeks not the hollow accolades of others, but the resonance of his own truth. Through the haze of uncertainty, a new narrative unfolds, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the unyielding pursuit of genuine selfhood. Lesson 2. You have to know when the dream is over. Scarred proceeds to recount the unraveling of his musical dreams, akin to a sailor relinquishing his grip on a frayed rope in a tempest. Amidst life's tumultuous currents, Scarred confronts the dawning decision to disband his group, a choice laden with the weight of shattered illusions. Like a drowning man clutching at a hope, Scar grapples with the stark reality of relinquishing cherished dreams now turned hollow. Yet amidst the storms of uncertainty, Scar emerges as a beacon of courage, bravely severing ties to his musical past. With each decisive stroke, he casts off the burdensome anchor of false expectations, embracing the unknown horizon. Lesson 3. You have to have something for yourself. Scarred finds himself standing at the crossroads of uncertainty, grappling with the weight of failed relationships and shattered dreams. As the specter of a stagnant existence looms large, Justin finds solace in the embrace of a singular passion, filming and editing video. In the wake of a disheartening chapter in his life, Justin draws inspiration from the courageous leap of his comrade, Adam the Woo, who had navigated the treacherous waters of artistic reinvention. Thus, with the resolved forge from the crucible of adversity, Scarred takes his maiden voyage into the uncharted realm of video production. Guided by the flickering beacon of creativity, he embarks on a journey fraught with uncertainty, yet brimming with promise our journey destined to weave the tapestry of random land. Lesson 4. Do what you know. In the shadow of Disneyland, Justin's youth unfolded amidst the enchanting allure of Anaheim, California's famed theme park. With each passing day, he delved deeper into its labyrinth wonders, his heart entwined with its storied past. Though unconventional, his affinity for capturing the park's essence through film stirred within him, an unyielding flame amidst the skepticism of naysayers. While others scoffed at the notion of filming in a place meant for frolic and fantasy, Justin remained undeterred, driven by an unwavering devotion to Disneyland's timeless charm. 
His camera became a conduit for storytelling, immortalizing the magic that danced within the park's hallowed halls. Thus, amidst the whimsical cacophony of laughter and merriment, Justin's journey began, a testament to the enduring power of passion in the face of skepticism. Lesson 5. Stop talking about it and just do it. Fueled by an insatiable hunger to carve a niche uncharted, he plunged headlong into the realm of YouTube, forging a path paved with laughter and levity. Undeterred by the dearth of congenial content, he labored tirelessly to birth episodes that eschewed the shadows of cynicism and controversy. With each frame meticulously crafted, his ardor for kindling joy ignited a beacon in the digital wilderness. Through the crucible of determination, he etched a legacy, weaving the threads of mirth and merriment into the fabric of online discourse. Thus, amidst the vast expanse of cyberspace, he emerged as a harbinger of cheer, a stalwart guardian of optimism in a world besieged by darkness. Lesson 6. There is great satisfaction in making other people happy by doing things your own way. Amidst the sea of strangers, Justin found solace in their unanticipated embrace of his endeavors, a sharp juxtaposition to the skepticism he endured from his inner circle, barring a scant few loyal companions. Pondering this, he mused. Leaving the punk rock enclave for the wider world felt like breaking free from isolation. Yet strangely, I found myself ensnared in an even lonelier existence. His odyssey mirrored the intricate dance of acceptance and rebuff, underscoring the profound sway of differing viewpoints on one's evolution and sense of belonging. Lesson 7. Beware of cows. They drove fast, the land sprawling before them like a vast, unbroken sentence. All along the roads, the signs stood sharp against every building and pole, proclaiming the dangers of cow country. But they sped on, heedless, their laughter mingling with the rush of wind. Warnings to watch for cows seemed a joke until the car crested a hill and nearly ended in a tangle of metal and flesh. They would remember the cows, a sudden shadow that could have shattered everything. Later, as the miles unwound, Justin made a joke about aliens stealing cattle to keep them off the roads from drivers like themselves. It was only half a jest. The signs they knew were not merely suggestions. They were the thin lines between laughter and disaster. Always heed the warning. Always be aware of cows. Lesson 8. Don't judge people in their worst moments. In moments of turmoil, refrain from hasty judgment. Behind every breakdown lies a labyrinth of hidden battles. Empathy, the true compass of understanding, guides us through their storm. Through empathy, we unveil the complexities within, nurturing bonds and forging genuine connections. Lesson 9. We are our own worst enemy. Life's bitter circumstances may provoke disdain, Yet introspection reveals our own hand in impeding progress. Exiting comfort's embrace and welcoming change becomes paramount for growth. Through daring deviations and seizing fleeting chances, we shatter stagnation shackles, unfurling novel paths of possibility. Lesson 10. No one attacks a clown. Attacking a clown is folly for their repertoire boasts only harmless diversions, balloon animals, sleight of hand. Such antics escalate absurdity, not settle strife. Clowns, masters of jest and diversion, wield humor to diffuse tension. Confrontation yields not resolution, but a farce, a comedic duel between reality and illusion.
In the sprawling expanse of Justin Scard's Tales from Random Land, I found solace, an oasis amid the chaos of modern existence. With each turn of the page, I journeyed deeper into Scard's psyche, a labyrinth landscape of introspection and revelation. His prose, like a masterful brushstroke, painted vivid images of his odyssey, inviting readers to walk alongside him on his quest for meaning. Scard's resilience, a testament to the human spirit, resonated with me, stirring a dormant ember within my soul. Through his trials and triumphs, he emerged not unscathed, but transformed, a phoenix rising from the ashes of adversity. Yet amidst the turmoil, Scard's wit remained unyielding, a beacon of light in the darkness. I resist the urge to unveil his tales, for they are treasures best unearthed by eager hands and curious minds. So I implore you, dear reader, to seek out his book, to immerse yourself in the tapestry of his words, and to discover the magic of random land for yourself. For in the pages of his opus lies a journey, not just of escapism, but of enlightenment, a journey worthy of pursuit, as Justin himself would attest. At the end of the day, all we can control is our own reaction to this crazy life. And the best we can do is do our best and try our hardest to learn, to grow, to be a positive force in other people's lives if we can. And try to keep the panic attacks to a minimum. To be able to lay our heads down alone at night without guilt or regrets, or at least with the knowledge that we've done the best we can and tried as hard as we could to live a life that puts persuasion before force, chooses love over hate, kindness over cruelty, and forgiveness before revenge. In short, my friends, all we can do is strive to live in a way that whenever or wherever the end comes, we can take our last breath and think, I've done my duty, I can go home and sleep well.